today, we're going to talk about style as it relates to photography. So style is pretty easy to explain. Okay, so if uh, you're in the fashion business, uh, you're a designer, you're known for a certain type of style. Um, so um, one of the definitions is um, various fields of photography require different style and perspective. The techniques used may vary based on the subject, the situation, or the theme of the contest. So one of the things that's important about your style is that it's really recognizable as your signature, okay? Um, so one of the things you want to do is you want somebody to look at your work and say, wow, that's a Tom Stanford picture, or a good, a good example of one of our teachers is John Partipillo. You can look at one of his pictures and know that it's a John Partipillo picture. Um, so uh, <clears throat> they are, there's a lot of great photographers out there who possess easily recognizable photos that belong to them. One is Annie Leibovitz, and uh, I'm going to uh, show you some of her work in this video. Another is Ansel Adams, so all-time, uh, kind of the, the most well-known nature photographer. Um, also was important as far as um, his work of preserving national parks. His photographs prompted the Sierra Club to um, lobby Congress to make some of these areas he was photographing national parks. David LaChapelle. So um, he his work is very unique, very different. When you look at a Ch LaChapelle picture, you know exactly that it's his. Okay? So <clears throat> why is it so important to, to uh, have a style? Okay? So I very strongly believe that what you'll do is you will go out and you'll make money with your camera in a variety of ways.
very strongly believe that what you'll do is you will go out and you'll make money with your camera in a variety of ways. But one of the things that's really important is that you have to have a niche. You have to have something that you're really, really good at. And uh, so the example would be if, um, if you're a great portrait photographer and you do your portraits in a stylistic way, well then you're going to, <clears throat> there's a certain clientele are going to be drawn to you because of, of that work. Um, so one of the things that I think is really important is that um, you know, you're going to be drawn, people are going to be drawn to you for the certain amount of work you do, um, and then you're going to um, um, get other work based on that, okay? So there's a photographer in town who I know really well, her name is Samantha Hearn, some of you guys follow her on Facebook, um, Instagram. Um, <clears throat> so Sammy does really kind of high-end themed shoots where she's got a concept, she'll post three or four photos, and then she will... Um, um, and then she'll do a theme on, um, you know, um, like a horror theme. Then she'll come around and do um, kind of a theme where there's a guy in a field and he's, um, you know, he's uh, dressed in a suit, unusual place to be dressed in a suit. And so, um, but then which, which we found is that she'll get business based on that work. So she'll get a photographer, a, a client who wants to do a wedding, who wants her to do the wedding, but she wants to do it in Sammy's style. She wants to do a fashion themed wedding um, and um, and so I think that's one of those things where you can if you have a certain style you'll bring people to you 